Bad weekend to be in the theaters also because it'll look mostly like this uh, Cedar Hill right now 71 degrees and look at that low cloud cover settling in humidity is high. It is warm. We'll continue to see some scattered showers this afternoon and that'll happen closer towards the Red River. Otherwise, we're staying mostly dry. I do have about 10% coverage of rain this afternoon. Again, that's just to account for an isolated shower. I am not expecting severe weather today. In fact, that holds off until late tomorrow and into Friday morning. The rest of the day, watch for temperatures to still climb thanks to that southeast wind at 10 20 miles per hour, 78 degrees around 3, 80 degrees for the high temperature. That'll happen around 5, 81 in Fort Worth, 80 in Denton and in Dallas, as well as in Decatur. Okay, so here's your severe weather risk. Thursday night, we're looking at a marginal risk for DFW. That goes up to a slight risk. That's a level 2 out of 5. What that means is that we'll see the bigger potential for strong storms uh, Thursday night into Friday morning. It'll be an isolated threat that'll turn into a scattered threat Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and this is going to come in the form of different rounds. So I'm going to take you through a few of those rounds. Uh, this is Saturday, uh, excuse me, Friday 7 in the morning. You'll start to see these thunderstorms that did develop in West Texas move into North Texas, and we'll start to see it first along our western counties. Between 7 to about 10, we'll notice these storms move across DFW and kind of shift into our eastern counties. I am expecting rain coverage at this point to be closer to about a 60 or 70 percent. That dry line helps push these storms to the east. I think additional activity will spark up sometime around midday, and then as this dry line retreats back to the west, we'll see additional activity for Friday afternoon between five and about six in the afternoon. And at times we could see a few of these storms turn severe. So definitely pay attention all day Friday, even though it may not be consistently raining. We get a break from the rain Friday night and Saturday morning. Saturday morning, it's going to be cloudy. We get this dry line that shifts back into North Texas. So by around two in the afternoon, we'll see storms again along our western counties and those will move from west to east. Look at this. This is Saturday around six in the evening. And again, this will shift towards the east. At times, we could see the potential for severe weather. A front then moves in. So just to keep track, this is Friday morning, Friday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, and then Sunday morning, our next round moves in. And this round does look like it brings us better coverage of rain. I am not expecting to see widespread severe weather, but we could see some isolated strong storms that contain hail and strong winds. So here's just a different look at our severe weather potential. This is Thursday night, very early into Friday morning. Marginal risk. The highest threat for severe weather stays to our northwest. Friday morning, we're talking mid to late morning and in the afternoon. This is when we could see a slight risk. That's a level two out of five. And this is for the potential of large hail and strong winds. We'll see that threat again Saturday during the afternoon hours. And then again on Sunday, all that to say is this weekend it's not going to be raining consistently. However, we are going to see several rounds of rain. We could pick up anywhere between one to one and a half inches of rain. The highest totals will be to our east. I'm expecting temperatures otherwise to stay mainly in the 80s. I think tomorrow it'll be cloudy and humid, so upper 70s, but daily rain chances through Sunday through Monday. We'll get a brief break in those rain chances and then they'll be back late next week. So again, keep checking back in with us day to day because it'll look different day to day. Mark.